let's have a look what's inside this uh, bottom bracket. This bottom bracket came out of an ultra bicycle that I uh, recently scrapped. All right, ultra bicycle, your time on this planet is basically over. I create the stuck through frame. I guess now uh, all that uh, remains is the cleanup. The bearings uh, feel a bit rough. They are no longer smooth. And I think this is a uh, modern type of bottom bracket, a cartridge one, because I see uh, a plastic part there. So it should be uh, non-serviceable. It is also rather rusty on the inside, um, which is a bit surprising because the frame uh, hardly had any rust on it. It also has these weird, I don't know, polyps in both of these uh, tubes that go to the uh, uh, handlebar and the uh, uh, seat. Strange. Well, the uh, threads are rather rusty, so I will uh, spray them with some uh, oil. And then I uh, will try and uh, take this apart. So the uh, penetrating oil has been uh, soaking in overnight, although WD-40 really isn't any good at uh, penetrating oil. But I guess it's better than nothing. Let's see, this is the... Uh, the drive side because it's dirty so that is where the uh, chain was so this should be left hand thread let's see if I can uh, open this up now I don't want to crush this in the uh, vise otherwise it will probably be more difficult to uh, get this loose now this here is my flimsy tool not sure if it uh, will be good enough to uh, get this uh, cone loose. And this uh, seems to be plastic. Okay. Yeah. This uh, notch was slipping. I don't think this is the proper tool for this bottom bracket, but yeah. this really isn't going to work. So I will use this bad boy, and this being plastic, it will probably get crushed by this uh, wrench or vise. Not sure how to call it. Okay, tightening up the vise a bit. No, it's slipping. No. That really didn't work. And I doubt that I can uh, uh, get this loose with a uh, punch. Stupid plastic parts. I do uh, want to reuse this uh, bottom bracket for a uh, kind of artsy project uh, that I got planned. So I would like to, k to get it out and uh, keep it in one piece so I can uh, use it again. And uh, for what I'm going to use it for, it doesn't matter that the uh, ball bearings are uh, shit. This is not going to work. It's time for the big boy.
no chance. I just took out a whole chunk of that plastic shit. And I guess I'm stupid because I'm trying again. Let's try the other side. And this should be right hand thread. Who knows, maybe this side is uh, completely loose. It just slips out. It's too bad that this uh, wasn't uh, designed for a hammer and chisel mechanic. But it's not going to stop me from uh, trying. <laughs> and another chunk just came off. Let's try this again. And then I will uh, resort to my uh, angle grind. It's just sliding over the uh, surface and uh, grinding off the plastic bits. Yeah. Grinder time! At this point I will probably not reuse this. I'll have to find something uh, else. I think we shall uh, remove a cross section here so we can have a proper look inside. Just cut everything off, including cups and balls. The uh, blade is turning a bit black. Makes me think of the time I was uh, using an angle grinder to cut up uh, uh, tires. So I can use them for an uh, autocross. But I did that uh, outside. But so far this isn't uh, as bad as uh, cutting up tires. Right. I guess now I need to flip this. rubber and metal bits. I should probably uh, open up a door. Because, well, I cannot open up the window. It is a bit um, smoky in here. I'm not sure if that will show up on the camera. The wind is blowing hard today, so you might hear that. Alright, let's see if I can cut off the other side, or the other half. <laughs> Looking! I guess now I should uh, let this uh, cool for a bit. And at least uh, now I can give you a look of what's inside. Well, I had to leave for a while so I could air out this uh, room and uh, let this uh, cool off. Um, as you can see, everything got smeared by uh, what looks like uh, rubber. Although it isn't rubber, it looks uh, similar. And here you can see the um, uh, metal parts that were inside the uh, cups and I think this uh, this actually might have been serviceable but uh, <laughs> I guess I won't uh, be reusing this 
Um, I think I need to do a little bit more grinding so I can take off the uh, axle just for fun. The angle grinder is already dirty so uh, why not uh, take this uh, one step further for science. Here you can see that some of the plastic bits got inside the, uh, uh, the spark guard. It's not as bad as uh, when I cut up tires. But that wasn't with this uh, nice angle grinder. All these tools are meant to be used. Misused sometimes. And here's a quick look at the uh, side that I cut off. That uh, plastic stuff hardened up quite a bit. All the grinding operation kind of glued in the axle. There's a bit of a ball bearing. I think this is another piece of a ball bearing. It's kind of small. I should use a screwdriver. And this is the uh, uh, plastic uh, cover. And I think I need to open up this gap here in order to take out the uh, axle. A repurposed screwdriver that uh, got damaged in the line of business. There's some grease in there. I need to tighten up the vise. Um, I guess I'm not uh, going to do a uh, uh, bottom bracket uh, archaeology. Let's uh, get grinding again. Okay, that might be room enough. It is not uh, securely tightened up in the vise. I think the balls that are still left in here are keeping things together. So yeah, I might do a little bit more grinding. It's starting to smell in here again. I just uh, saw one ball fell on a fall on the uh, floor. It wasn't rusty. Yeah, I gotta open up a window. Well, the uh, smoke cleared out, so let's continue this uh, dissecting job. And I think there should be enough uh, room. I think, yeah, there's one of those small ball banks, got it. No rust. Yeah, the ball bearings are coming up. There's a whole bunch here. And the ball bearings are riding in a groove here. Tiny ball bearings. 
a bit like the ones you would find in a, uh, a front wheel hub. Cannot turn it by hand. There's hardly any rust on these uh, ball bearings. I think. No, I should be able to take this out. Something is still keeping it in place. Ah. More ball bearings are coming up. There's also some grease coming out. Less, uh, yeah. It's close, but it still won't come out. Okay, I think it's hammer time. Something is still keeping it in place on the uh, right side. Tightening up the fires a bit more. Hmm. If it won't come out like this, I will try and uh, see if I can slide it out. Easy. Got it. Dissecting job complete. So here's a closer look at the result of the uh, dissecting job. And there are some of the balls that came out. And as you can see no rust at all. I think perhaps there are a few in there. No, they're all gone. Well, that was fun. I guess now I will have to find another one for use in my uh, artsy fartsy project. Now, if you actually made it to the end of this uh, stupid video, thanks for watching. I had fun, sort of. And now I will try and uh, clean up this uh, plastic shit or grease. That might be difficult. But I guess that's uh, what I invented so far. I wish the summer would uh, get here. Because this weather sucks. <laughs>